Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we've got a little bit more about the Tiny SA Spectrum Analyzer. I uh, put a video out a couple of days ago uh, looking at one aspect of the latest um, uh, firmware revision and that was the uh, ability for the um, signal generator to output a pulse on the other channel which you could use to synchro um, with another instrument and oscilloscope. I'll put a link up there to that video it might be worth a look there is um, another feature uh, that was added and that's the ability to make channel power measurements so I wanted to uh, do something about that and I also thought well while I'm on it might be worthwhile just comparing the kind of measurements you can get from the tiny SA with uh, that of a, a sort of a more uh, conventional uh, bench spectrum analyzer uh, and just see see how good the measurements actually are um, and was pleasant, pleasantly surprised uh, to discover that they're they're pretty good really for an instrument at that kind of price point so um, I've just done a couple of comparisons with the two instruments so let's um, move across to the bench and have a look uh, at the results the setup then, I've got the signal generator producing a sine wave at 25 megahertz, 100 millivolts peak to peak. That's feeding down to this T piece, and I've got identical uh, pieces of coax feeding my Siglent spectrum analyzer and also the Tiny SA. Now, it's not the easiest thing to film the Tiny SA um, because of the screen, and it's also a nice sunny day. I won't grumble about that, but um, just makes the filming a little bit harder. Um, and what I've got is a display that starts at 0 hertz and goes to 125 megahertz. The sweep's the same on both. And um, oh, a bit of noise creeping in there, which wasn't part of the plan. Um, so as you can see, I've got two markers set up uh, on both. And the fundamental here um, is coming out at about minus 23.6 dBm on the Tiny SA and the Siglance makes that at about well it's about 24 something like that 24 dBm and the uh, second harmonic comes out at about minus well it's about minus 55 dBc and we're getting about minus 54 uh, dBc for the second harmonic on the um, Siglance spectrum analyzer so certainly as far as um, uh, that kind of thing's concerned. Uh, that's results are pretty similar. This is a relatively new spectrum analyzer, the Siglent. Still got a cali calibration certificate for it, and I did do the calibration on the Tiny SA before I started these measurements. Okay, I'm going to set up for um, uh, a modulated signal, and then we'll um, we'll have see how that looks. Here we are a little bit zoomed in then, so we've now got a, a span of 100 kilohertz uh, on both instruments and I've just popped a marker on so that for the peak, so the Tiny SA is saying minus 23.1 dBm and the Siglent makes it about 25 dBm, so it's about a couple of dB out there, so really not very much indeed. And currently both got a resolution bandwidth of 3 kilohertz and you can obviously see the Siglent's uh, update rate uh, sweep time is um, just about two and a half um, milliseconds uh, and you can see the green line hopefully moving across there um, giving a scan time of about 1.8 seconds so obviously there's a considerable difference in processing power obviously Okay, one of the reasons I wanted to get this signal up is that's the 25 megahertz carrier wave. I'm now going to modulate it. And straight away you can see two distinct sidebands. So I'm modulating that with a 5 kilohertz tone. And um, 5 kilohertz for no other reason than that's about the upper limit you'd probably have um, for communication uh, quality audio on, say, a, a radio on a handheld radio or something like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the Tiny SA to show us its new um, new measurement, additional measurement, which uh, has been introduced with the latest software update, and that is channel power. 
So I'm going to choose channel power. It's now going to ask me what the fundamental is, which is 25 megahertz. And it's going to ask me the channel width. I'm going to say 12.5 kilohertz. And there's two blue lines have appeared there now. It's updated the trace. You can see the sidebands quite distinctly. And it's saying that 96% of the power just over is um, inside the 12.5 kilohertz. And that equates to about 22.5 uh, dBm. So now I'm going to uh, pop onto measurement mode on the siglent and channel power and get a slightly different display here, but we get, I've got it set up the same, 12.5 kilohertz span. And uh, so the channel power according to, ignore the marker now, that's um, it's the channel power measurement that matters down here. So the channel power it's saying there is about, it's hopping about really, but um, if I pause that 24.04 dBm and the, the, let's have another, just another go and see if I stop it. Yeah, 23.9. So it's about 24 dBm according to the siglent. According to the TAN ESA it's about um, 22 and a half dBm, so just a uh, one and a half dBm out, so not um, a great deal. Uh, and that's the new um, the new measurement mode, which um, I think is rather snazzy. Well, I think those are quite um, impressive results, really, for such a such a tiny instrument. I paid about uh, 60 UK pounds for that, and uh, I think it's quite remarkable. Um, for the money, really. Uh, I'm on a real journey of discovery about this little instrument and what it can do. I'm really only scratching the surface. And the same applies for my Siglent spectrum analyzer as well. I'm also, that's a bit of a, uh, a present to myself. And I knew when I got it, I was going to be at the bottom of a very, very steep learning curve. And I certainly am. Um, but it's a great way to learn practically. Um, so I've enjoyed just comparing those. And I've been presently, pleasantly surprised with um, uh, what that's capable of. So I hope um, that's been useful. Um, if you can click the thumbs up if you've liked the video. Um, perhaps let people know about the channel. It'd be great if you could subscribe. Thanks very much indeed for watching and indeed for your comments and your support. And we'll see you on the next one.